Hey everybody, I wanted to make this video to share with all of you my newest obsession, the Doctor Who Titans vinyl figures. Uh, I've managed to put together a complete set of series 1 and 2, and I wanted to share them all with you guys. So if you're interested in collecting them yourselves, you have a good idea what is out there. So this is actually the box that they come in. It's a nice display box with some nice artwork there. you got the Doctor Who logo on the front there. Uh, and the nice thing is, too, on the side of the box, it shows you um, what the rarity of each figure is. And it shows you what to expect from the set. And it's also got the four chase figures silhouetted out there, which I'll be showing you in a little bit what they look like. And back of the box, just boring legal stuff. And the other side, same thing, uh, what's in the set. And then when you open that box up, there's 20 of these blind boxes in there, uh, so you open it up, you're not sure what you're going to get, but the whole set is pretty cool. So if you're just buying one or two, you should get some neat stuff. If you're interested in getting the whole set, I, I picked up a case of them. I got a whole base set and two of the chase figures, and then I picked up the other two chase figures uh, online. And you can see either side there, they show you, again, what's in the set and what the rarity is. So it mirrors the display box. The back shows you a little information about the figure itself. 16 figures to collect, one random figure inside, three inches long, and um, the artist is Matt Jones, AKA Lunartic. So without further ado, let's show you the actual figures themselves, starting with the good doctor himself. There he is, the 11th doctor, and his rarity is three out of 40, so I wind up getting three of them in the case, so he's he's pretty easy to find. He's got the pink shirt there, comes with his sonic screwdriver. Uh, I thought it was kind of neat, nice little attention to detail. They got the little elbow patches on him there. Um, pretty nice, and the bottom just Dr. Who logo and uh, the, the Titans imprint there. That's on all of them, I don't need to show you all of them, but just in case you're curious. So there's the, the good doctor. Uh, put him aside. Then we've got the Silent, who's pretty neat. He doesn't come with an accessory, but pretty nice sculpt there. Pretty menacing. If you watch the show, these are creepy villains, so very nice. That's the Silent there, and he's 2 in 20. So again, he's not too tough to find there. And of course, you've got the TARDIS. Nice iconic uh, figure right there. That's 2 and 20 as well. So you shouldn't have too much trouble finding a TARDIS if this is the one you're looking for. And that's pretty cool there. Then you've got the good old Cyberman. Nice classic Doctor Who villain there. Some nice... Uh, paint job there. Uh, I have to say, I like the attention to detail on these. They're, they're very simple and not overly done, but they they have some nice um, nice sculpts and nice paint jobs on them. Uh, so pretty cool. So there's the Cyberman, and he's one in every 20. So there's only one of him in the box. So good luck if you're hunting for him. We've got the Silurian. He's pretty cool. He comes with his gun there, uh, and he's 1 in 20 as well. And he's pretty cool. Nice, the uh, his belt there. Nicely done. Very cool little guy. All right, we've got the Silurian. Uh, the next one up is the Jadoon. There he is. This is one of my favorites. It's just very cool looking. Comes with his gun there, very menacing. This is very neat. I like him. And he's uh, 1 in 20 as well, so there's only one of him in the case too. But he's pretty cool. Let's see, you've got the Ood. This is, this is one of my favorites. I just think that's really nice sculpt on that. Um, really captures the, the character. He's holding his little ball there. 
He's got his whatever tendrils coming out of his face there. Whoops. <laughs> he doesn't want to stand up for some reason. Um, but there he is. That's the Ood. Um, and then you've got a bunch of Daleks in this set. But of course, if you're collecting Doctor Who, you need Daleks. Um, and they're neat. Uh, these are the new Paradigm Daleks from the show. Uh, this is obviously the yellow one. It's the Eternal Dalek. He's 1 in 20. And all these Dalek figures, um, they're cool. They're all the same sculpt. They're just different colors. Uh, still neat. But would have been nice to maybe see a couple different sculpts, but uh, the Daleks all kind of look the same anyway. So, uh, so that's the yellow one, the Eternal Dalek. You've got the red one. He's the drone Dalek. He's 2 in 20. That yellow one was 1 in 20. I don't know if I mentioned that. So there he goes. Again, looks looks the same. There he is. Spin him around for you. And the blue one, that's the strategist Dalek, apparently. Um, and he's 2 in 20. Very cool. You've got the white one, the Supreme Dalek. He is uh, one in every 20. It's a little harder to find than the other ones, but there he is. And then the last one, the last Dalek anyway, is the Scientist Dalek. There he is. He's orange. So they, um, all together the Daleks look pretty cool. Um... There you go. So there's all of them. As I push them all on the table there. There's all of the base set. Turn around there. Red Dalek. Um, you can see them all. Um, and that's the 12 base, 12 figures in the base set. Um, but we've got uh, four figures I haven't shown you yet. Those are the chase figures. These guys are a little bit harder to find. Move over there. Okay. The first one of the chase figures is... The Doctor, the Eleventh Doctor, uh, he's, the only difference about him, <laughs> he's got a blue shirt instead of the original pink shirt. Let's bring the regular one back in here so you can compare. That's the regular one. That's the Chase one with the blue shirt. Um, not that exciting, but, he, you know, he's part of the set, so that's that. He's one every 40. Uh, again, otherwise he looks pretty much the same. Uh... The other variant is the TARDIS, the green TARDIS. Uh, it's supposed to glow in the dark. It doesn't really work that well, but there it is. Again, those, those two variants, those are my least favorite. I, you know, it's green instead of white. It's He's got a blue shirt instead of a pink shirt. Not that exciting as variants go, but the next two I really like. I'm saving the best for last. We've got the variant Ood. And I think he's really cool. I, th I like, the Ood is one of my favorite figures in this set anyway. Uh, he glows in the dark. It actually really works on him. Even without glow in the dark, he looks pretty cool with the green there. Uh, I like him. Uh, and, you know, I don't know if I mentioned the rarity of any of these guys. These are all one in every 40. Um, except for the TARDIS, that's one in 20. So the, the 11th Doctor... And the Ood and the Cybermen I'm about to show you, those are 1 in 40. And then the Variant TARDIS, that's 1 in 20. So there you go. Uh, and this Ood doesn't want to stand up either. Then we've got the last one, probably my favorite of the variants, is the Battle Damaged Cyberman. And this I like because it's actually a slightly different sculpt. This, this one's got the scar on it. Uh, it's got the... Uh, Different paint job there, different markings on it, uh, really nice, um, and we can compare it with the other one. Oh, and I didn't do that with the other ones, I'll do that for you. So that's the regular Cyberman, you can see no scar, uh, slightly different artwork. If you look at the legs, uh, different artwork on the legs there, all scratched up, scar on his face. Very cool. Uh, if we move them, you've got the 
compare the TARDISes for you. Not much difference. One green, one white. And we'll compare the Oods, if they'll cooperate and stand up for me. There's the Oods. Oop. Look at the camera, buddy. There they are. Nice together. So that's it. That's the entire series of, well, series one of the Titans vinyl. Uh, I'll be posting a video shortly with the, uh, here, I'm trying to put them all together for you. Get a nice group shot of everybody before I close this thing out. Um, I'm going to be putting together a video of series two. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. I like these little guys. I don't usually collect toys like this, but I thought these are neat. So that's the whole set of Series 1. I will be back soon with a video of all of Series 2. Thanks for watching.